Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Campbell Island Teal, a flightless waterfowl that's came perilously close to extinction. I hope you enjoy. Campbell Island Teals are the smallest of the three brown plumaged teals endemic to the New Zealand region. The wings of these birds are very short compared to other ducks, and are therefore flightless, with the main wing feathers extending only about halfway along the back. Birds are likely monogamous and are strongly territorial, with all reproductive activity and feeding confined to their territories. Their main habitat is tussock grassland, although they also inhabit burrows and pathways of petrel species. Campbell Island teal are very difficult to study in the wild due to the inaccessibility of the sites where they occur, the dense vegetation they inhabit, and the bird's secretive and nocturnal behaviour. Campbell Island teals came remarkably close to extinction after Norway rats were introduced to the Campbell Island group through whaling and sealing ships, which wiped out all birds on the main Campbell Island. For over 87 years, the birds were considered extinct, until miraculously, a small population consisting of a mere 20 birds was discovered on Dent Island, three kilometres west of the main island. To save this critical population, birds were taken into captivity by the Department of Conservation for captive breeding at the Mount Bruce Wildlife Centre. Captive breeding proved to be very difficult to achieve, as no studies on the behaviour of the species had been carried out in the wild, and staff had to experiment with a range of techniques to encourage breeding. The captive breeding was difficult to achieve and took many years to produce any young. Eventually, success came in 1994 when a bird called Daisy produced offspring, the only female out of the three females to do so. As such, the entire captive bred population of birds is descended from this one female, and as such, have among the lowest level of genetic variation measured in any bird population, comparable to the black robin that went through a very similar genetic bottleneck. A population of 25 captive bred individuals was released on Codfish Island in 1999 and 2000, which was also being utilised as an important habitat for the critically endangered kakapo. To bring the teal back to Campbell Island, the world's largest rat eradication programme was undertaken by helicopter drops of more than 120 tonnes of poisoned bait over the island in 2001, removing what was likely the world's densest population of Norway rats, around 200,000, and the island was declared rat-free in 2003. 50 Campbell Island teal, a mix of captive bred and wild acclimated animals, were reintroduced to Campbell Island in mid-2004, after an absence of more than a century. 55 more birds were introduced in 2005, and 54 more in 2006, successfully completing the recovery program. The most recent attempt to locate birds on the island indicated a minimum presence of 102 birds. While populations on Dent and Codfish Islands have not been surveyed in the past decade, they are likely tiny, at around 30 birds. Subsequent monitoring has shown that birds are thriving on the island, with chicks having been observed, and by 2011, the Campbell Island teal was reclassified as endangered, still vulnerable, but not at the brink of extinction as they once were. I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the red-tailed tropic bird, a bird that with its large red tail feathers and conspicuous white body, is a truly remarkable looking bird. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.